In this video, I want to talk about the differences between revert and reset in Git. So revert is a command that creates a new commit that undoes the changes from a, from a previous commit. The command adds new history to the project and it doesn't modify the existing history. Reset it modifies the index uh, or changes which commit a branch head is currently pointing at. This commit may alter the existing history. So what these two commands do in git is they are used to undo the commit, but in different cases. So revert will be used when a commit has been done. Or when a change has been committed and has been pushed remotely. Reset is when a change has also been committed but has not been pushed. So this is literally only in your local. So let's say for a reset, let's say you're making changes and you make a commit, you never pushed, you want to go back, you can use reset. But if you already pushed that change to a remote place or somewhere else, then you should use revert. So I'll give you a couple of examples. So let me clear this. So I'm going to do an example of git reset. So I'm going to show you guys what I have in my local. So I have on branch feature example 8. So I'm on branch example 8. My branch is up to date with the origin and there's nothing to commit. I'm going to show you guys my files. I have 8 files. Everything looks simple. So now I can make changes and then undo them. So let's say I want to make changes to test 8. So I'm going to go test 8. Say, hey, I just made new changes. And these are bad changes. So I made changes to test 8, and I can do get status to show my status. And it says, hey, test 8 has been modified. Uh, I can add it, do other things. So I'm going to add it. And then commit it. And modifications. test date and there everything is up to date all I have to do is push so let's say I don't want to push let's say I just want I see that it was a bad change that I want to go back what would I do all I have to do is do get reset head so get reset head just means hey the last commit undo it and I want to show you guys something as well. If I do git log, I can see my history. So here, this is my last commit, which is main modifications to 8. And this is my commit prior to that one, etc., etc., etc. So I can actually see all my previous commits. If I want So here, I'm going to do git status. So just show you guys. I'm on my branch, example 8. There's one commit that I have to push but I'm not going to because I remember that I made, I made an error so all I do is get reset head and it takes me back and I can do get status and it shows me what I modified and my file and that's how you get reset reset head once you, before you have pushed up so here I'm going to do get status to show you guys that I'm on branch feature example 6. I'm in this branch and my branch is up to date and this is where I'm pushing at to the remote. So both of them are in the same branch. And I can see in my file structure I have test uh, 1, 2, 8 files. So test 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And now I want to see my history just to see the last commits I've done. So the last commit I did is right here, which is I added stuff to file 8. The commit before that, I added a file, which is test 8. 
here I may change this to 7 and in this commit I may change this well I actually made a new file called test 7 so these are my four last commits and actually these four last commits which I pushed up I don't want them I made a mistake and I want to delete them how do I delete them since you're not if it was local there would be a different method but since we have already pushed them then we have to use git revert so what you would do is git revert and this any after everything after this is the commits that you want to get deleted so you would if you want your last one to get deleted then you would do this if you want your your second to previous commit to be deleted you would do this if you want your third previous to get deleted you would do this if you want your fourth this and etc 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 so I want my last four to get deleted so if I want to do my last four I could do uh, I could do head four head three head or actually my last fourth would be head three head two head one head and that would run or I can just do this and that would delete uh, my last commit all the way through my fourth commit so I'm going to do revert no commit head three head and I'm going to click enter and I'm going to do get status and it's going to say tech seven and test eight have been deleted and I'm going to show you my file structure it only shows six files and the reason it shows six files is because I went back pretty much four commits and when I went back there was no test 7 there was no test 8 so I'm going to do git log and you guys can see these were my four last commits but I pretty much took them out so test 7 and test 8 were never there when I went back to pretty much here because this is where I'm at now so since we, these were deleted so here I could do git commit and make my changes but let's say for run, some reason you want to abort this and you're like crap actually I did want that then what you can do is do git revert abort and if you do git revert abort this status and you should be up to date and then let me run that get revert again so now it says I deleted my test 7 and my test 8 and all I'm going to do is get commit Reverted changes back four commits. And it did it in my two files. I have that. Get status. It just says that I have to push your branches ahead of origin feature example six by one commit and I just push. And I'm up to date and that's how you undo a commit 